Hey guys, real quick, this video is going up on Thursday and I forgot to tell you that I am doing a little meet up, meet and greet type thing with Isaiah in Jersey. It's gonna be at UFC gym, Riverdale. Search it up. We are gonna be doing a little like meet up there. It's gonna be some like games, giveaways, just a fun time. You can take pictures with us. We're gonna have, I just wanna meet you guys. So yeah, this is in Jersey, UFC gym, Riverdale. This is on July 31st at 12 p.m. July 31st at 12 p.m. in New Jersey. Um, so yeah, if you guys are from Jersey, if you guys just wanna come out, come out. It's gonna be Isaiah and I, so yeah. What's up guys? I'm back with another video, as you can see. Today, I'm gonna do a little q and I feel like I haven't done one of like, an actual Q&A for you guys in quite a bit. So I thought a, lot, a lot's going on right now. So right now is the perfect time. So, um. I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram. I think that's the easiest way to do it. So, yes. First things first. Christina Carmella asks, would you eat bug? And the answer, <laughs> bug's, <laughs> bug's trying to eat Hamon's foot. And the answer is yes. What? I totally would. Right, bug? Right, bug? I just want to take a bite out of her head. No, but in all seriousness, sometimes I do want to eat bug just because of how cute she is. What's the one thing you're insecure about in the gym? Well, if we're talking like in the gym, in the gym, probably my strength. I'm not, I mean, I actually have gotten a lot stronger with like upper body, but like my strength for like legs and like squats and stuff like that is just not very good at all. So yeah, that's something I'm really insecure about, like especially my squats. I just, first, I think I have, well, I know I have something wrong with my hip because when I squat with just my body weight, it still like hurts, so I don't know. It's hard, it's a struggle for me. If we're talking about just like body-wise, I wish I had a bigger butt. How annoying does the starlight comparison get? I mean, I don't really get annoyed, it's fine. People just think I look like her. I, but I literally, I do get it like every single day, multiple times a day. But the funny thing is, I once posted a TikTok addressing it and all of the comments are like, what? Like, no, you don't like, I don't see it at all. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like okay, now, now you guys are switching up. Like, I literally don't get it. Cause like, to me, it's not an insult if I look like her. And it's not an insult if I don't like look like her. Like it's so I don't get what you people are trying to prove. <laughs> it's really funny though. What's your dream car? So I always wanted my Porsche and I have her, but my actual dream car is a Lamborghini Urus. I feel like that's everyone's dream car, but it's just so beautiful. <laughs> Why don't you travel out of the country? Okay. I, I just did, I went to Mexico, but I don't, I, I agree I don't do it enough. I am planning on traveling more, so I do have a lot of travel plans in the coming future. So after I go to Jersey, which is tomorrow, I leave for Jersey, mid-August, I'm going to Mexico again. And then in September, I plan on going to Greece, which I think will be so amazing. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanna start traveling more and traveling out of the country more. With what I do, traveling is, is better, you know? better for content, just like. So I need to take advantage of it. Think about becoming a model. It's always something I've thought about. Fun fact, before I started social media, that's actually what I thought I wanted to do. I was like doing a bunch of shoots and stuff, like with this one photographer I knew, and I was just like, and with other photographers. And like, I wasn't really on social media at all. I think I had like 6,000 followers. So I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Like, I wanna model. But then, you know, social media started kind of kicking off for me. I kind of forgot about it. But I, I signed with a modeling agency once, and then I was like, no, so it wasn't very, a very very good agency. But yeah, it's always gonna be in the back of my mind. Modeling is something I would really love to do because you know, I just like love shooting and stuff like that. Did you go to college or not? Is YouTube going to be your full-time job? I did go to college. I went to college for a year and a half and then I realized I didn't wanna do it. Cause first of all, I was studying marketing. Well, first I was undecided because I had no idea I wanted to do. I just knew, okay, let me just go to college. But yeah, I was wasting a lot of money because I didn't even know what I wanted to do. And honestly, like me studying marketing was just like kind of pointless. Cause first of all, what am I doing now? Pretty much marketing. No, I wouldn't say like YouTube is my full-time job. I don't really make money from YouTube like that. I just kind of do it just because I can show you guys like my personality and you know, cause like on TikTok and Instagram, you guys don't really get to see my personality or who I like am or what I'm about and on YouTube, you do get to see that so I think YouTube is a very important platform and that's why I stay on YouTube But really like how I make my money is Well, I started off with raw gear P science my supplements code Noel um, on both of those if you choose to support me I work with trifecta and you know, I have another site <laughs> But yeah, even before I started that site I was still making a really like a really good amount of money that I probably never would have been making 
you know, if I just went to college full time, so. But um, yeah, I'm super grateful for that and it's like kind of insane, so I love you guys. Would you ever start your own clothing brand for women? Um, I would love to. That's something that I think would be dope to do in the future. But right now, that's not really... Majority of my followers are men, which is like not a problem. But so right now, I don't really have like the opportunity to do that since I don't have a lot of women. But in the future, I think it'd be super cool. Or even just like both genders. I think that'd be cool. You know? Who's your celebrity crush? We know this. Hamin, pop him up. What do you do a get ready with me? This is from a girl. I have done one, so go watch it if you feel. I like doing videos like that. Like, cause I, I love like, cause those videos are, um, I guess kind of towards girls a bit, even though guys can watch them, of course. But that's why they like don't get pushed out as much. So if you do want to go watch that video, go watch. What size Rogier t-shirts do you wear? I wear a size small. Sorry, I don't know why I thought about that. Yeah, I wear a size small and everything um for girls if you're wondering the leggings and the shorts that are coming out soon i wear an extra small but yeah the smallest size for like all the guy stuff is small so yeah i do wear a small how does it feel going from random girl on tinder to social media star okay so everyone has this like common misconception that like jesse actually found me on tinder and asked me to to um collab like no like me and jesse knew each other from college like yes we did meet from tinder like months and months and months before that but like when he, he asked me to do a video in person like if you guys know what i mean like it wasn't like he found me on tinder and blah blah, blah. i wasn't some random girl like we went to college together and i knew him that way so <laughs> yeah but um i'm still super grateful for um for jesse and that uh video because that did like jumpstart where i am now so that's pretty but yeah um a lot of people don't know that i, I wasn't just like some like random tinder <laughs> Which model do you admire the most? Why? I love, I don't know, I really like Hailey Baldwin and I just think, or Bieber, I guess. I don't know, I just think she's just like so, she's just so well-spoken and like she carries herself super well. And I don't know, I just think she's super cool. She just came out with like a new skincare line and I'm like, that's so cool. What have been your hardest struggles and how have you overcame them? One of my like hardest struggles ever was like, my hardest struggles have been my anxiety. My anxiety holds me back a lot, but I went to, I went through a point and like started like in November, um, my anxiety started getting really, really bad to the point where I couldn't even live life and I didn't even want to leave the house. I didn't want to eat, I couldn't sleep. Literally the worst time of my fucking life. And I've talked about it a little, a good amount on here, especially like when I was going through it. It literally feels like that part of my life wasn't real. Like I'm telling you right now, it feels like I wasn't living and it's like really scary to think about. But I like, I got the help I needed and you know, I worked through it and you know, I am on medication and I'm doing so much better now. I can actually live and you know, do the things I wanna do and I've accomplished so much. Like since that happened and well, since I went through that and yeah, that was really, really scary but we here now, so. But yeah, I had to basically, if you want like what I actually did, I was journaling, I was trying to meditate, I went to therapy and yeah, I got on medication, so. Oh, but a little bit, a little dose and I'm still on it to this day and it, it really, really has helped me, so yeah. How was Mexico with Nelk? I only went cause I, um, Steiny actually asked me to come down and I only went for like, it was pretty much like two days. Um, but it was dope. It was really fun for the time being and like where we stayed was like so beautiful But yeah, they're definitely a fun group of people. Yeah, we did a little streaming and stuff like that. But yeah Come on, Come on. Apples. Apples Oh, oh yeah, there for a couple days i wish it was longer but it was fun what would be an achievement that you'd be proud about like something that i haven't done yet that i want to do um i want to get like a modeling job like a real modeling job that'd be lit <laughs> and i want to hit 1 million on instagram one day i think that'd be dope oh shout out 1 million on tiktok love you guys thoughts on andrew tate um i see this guy like everywhere now i did not know who he was until like two days ago but yeah, I didn't really know who he was until like a few days ago. Yeah, he's just a very opinionated man. I see, he's, he's kind of crazy. Uh, someone told me, does he like 
have you do you know him <laughs> i'm actually looking him up right now yeah i don't know i just heard like i don't i don't literally don't even watch his stuff like i don't i don't really follow it but apparently he has strong opinions about women that's something i've heard not really a feminist but so i don't really give a fuck. <laughs> but if it's if he like trashes women that's a different thing but yeah no i, I don't know anything about him so i can't really i can't really speak on this what is something that men don't know women care about? Ooh. The little things. Yeah, that's true. Like literally, literally just like the little things. That's a good one. Like sometimes, like my boyfriend, like I don't think he knows sometimes, like the little things matter. Literally when I ask for a hug, just give me a nice hug. You know, when, you know, when you give me, when you get me Starbucks and I don't ask for it or like food or something like, oh well. Or like when you text me, I love you. Like, like these are all like just like little things that I'm like that truly, truly matters. So yeah, but that is a good question. And I think that's gonna be it. I like doing Q and A's. I didn't have a bunch of questions yet because a few minutes later. Oh, okay, guys. One of those days where I have a lot to do before I go away tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys liked my little Q&A. I had a fun time answering your questions. Um, let me know if there's anything else you guys want to know. Because, like, you know, I'm an open book, you know? So, yeah. I love you guys. You already know. You already know that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay? Leave a like. Leave a comment. Because I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you don't. Peace.